what is the use of a sundial under a shade of course talents are made to show not to keep it to yourselves i didn't tell this benjamin franklin did well what am i here to talk about today i'm here to discuss on a very very important topic probably this is very important for women and maybe men can watch it too to discuss about this with their adolescent uh, girls or uh, wives or mothers or whomsoever all right so recently i was doing a small study on uh, recognition all right uh, why are men are not fighting so much for recognition all right uh, when i spoke to certain men and when i was talking to certain psychologists they told me that men do not fight too much maybe in their offices and all these they, they work a lot to get some recognition but women for that matter they fight everywhere and they are burdened by this thought of recognition that's exactly what i am here to talk about how to get recognized specifically for women see uh, recent times because i am coaching people on how to be confident uh, in a very clear way i was talking with uh, a psychologist a lady psychologist she gave me a very funny number that is she said men can speak easily about their talents they tell that i'm good in this i'm good in that without feeling ashamed or without feeling a uh, bad of why do i have to do this that kind of mentality men never have but whereas women have this strange habit of underestimating themselves and also women have a i i even the psychologist is not sure why the, uh, she says that maybe it is because of the programming that we've been put into the knowledge that we've been uh, exposed to that women find it extremely difficult to talk about their talents to vocalize their ideas to vocalize their thoughts i'll tell you why this idea suddenly came to my mind my mother and father were married for a very long time ever since they were young they got married around when my mother was 16 my father was 17 or 18 back then but uh they divorced around 2012 or 13 i was in my college first year so around 20 21 years of togetherness and then what happened during that time my mother was not working until then she did many other things like even when in this that she did many things but she was not able to find out one good thing that she can do to earn money after the divorce we both uh, faced a uh, a very severe blow in terms of finances in terms of mental stability in terms of recognition in terms of what to do about the future and this is not only with my mother this is with many women either they go through a divorce or not they are in a happy relationship or not maybe the happiest of women still she is fighting to get a recognition either in one place or in another she could be the ceo she could be a happy homemaker she could be a, an amazing it employee to whatever whatever role she does she is fighting for recognition every single place why is that because there was a recent research study that was conducted by gallo and in this research study they say that people who vocalize their uh, talents who talk about what they are good at who discuss about what they did what they do they are 7.8 to 13.5 percentage more successful than all the other women or men this is a true research study that was conducted you can go and make a search and understand about it further women has a very difficult a big difficulty in telling what they are good at they feel why do i have to brag about myself everybody in my family is happy everybody is satisfied i'm okay in this situation i can manage she's happy with what she has 
and uh, quite recently i have come across a few people who continuously brag about themselves i'm good at this i'm good at that i do this i do that and all these things and that was very much annoying to me very frankly speaking it was very annoying to me i would think why is this woman why is this man talking so much about what he knows what she knows what is the point of it my initial programmed mind told me that he or she were bragging about themselves because that's what we are programmed to when someone talks about themselves when they say that they are good about themselves we say oh god they started uh, bragging about themselves what's so good about it but the actual fact and actual research and study says you don't have to brag about yourself but you will have to tell vocalize your talents for any woman in the present situation even though we have so much of technological development there is so much of exposure for uh, women in the city side and all this still women around it says uh, there is a research study which is i'm just not sure with the numbers 23.56 percentage of women no matter uh, the position that they are in are suffering with serious uh, a depression due to their lack of recognition they are fighting for it they don't get it why if you are good in cooking tell that you are good in it this is what i can do i can do all these things and people will come to you people will start recognizing you about it after all we have created a locus where when we talk about it we get people recognizing us and our self esteem and positivity increases when we talk about our talents people of you your like mind come to you you attract people of your sort you increase positivity by talking about what you're good at you generate positivity to others and also you reduce anxiety that's extremely in, important and also vocalizing your talents helps you in a high way upward career trajectory all right so vocalizing your uh, talents vocalizing about your thoughts vocalizing about yourself is extremely important if you feel that one shouldn't be doing it no i'm breaking the myth one has to if you don't have the habit of doing it right now if you watch my video make a video on what you are good at unless and until people know what you're good at there is only going to be judgment of a book cover and the court says don't judge a book by its cover but that's how you are going to be judged start vocalizing today talk your mind today talk out now until next video thank you so much